Sesung and Jae Hyung won second place in the singing battle and only one of them could give a ticket to someone to go to Singapore with. Since Ju Yan had already chosen Jae Hyung, Jae Hyung asked Sesung to use the ticket. Sesung chose Jong Sub. In the airport, Sesung grabbed Jong Sub's hand. Jong Sub said that they were wearing matching outfits and talking as they walked. He said that it felt like they were a couple. Sesung said that she was very excited to go with the person she had feelings for, while being lovey dovey. On the plane, they sat next to each other and fell asleep comfortably. When they arrived in Singapore, Jong Sub helped Sesung put a pain relief patch on her knees because she fell before they went to the airport in Seoul. Sesung said that Jong Sub took great care of her like he was her dad. She felt moved. They went to a seafood restaurant to have dinner. They took photos of each other, and they enjoyed the food. After finishing their food, Jong Sub asked Sesung's choice of Cupid date and whether she intended to choose him or not. Sesung said that she made a mistake. She gave it to Ju Yun. Everyone gave their letter to Ju Yun. Jong Sub was shocked after learning the truth. He thought Sesung had given the letter to his sister in order to pick him. But, Sesung gave it to Ju Yun. It was completely different from what he knew. Jong Sub misunderstood Sesung. Sesung really wanted to choose him. She gave her letter to Ju Yun because she thought Ju Yun was Jong Sub's sibling. Jong Sub asked Sesung, whom did you want to see in Cupid date? Sesung was hesitant for a second, before answering Yu. Jong Sub didn't believe her. He thought that Sesung wanted to choose Yong Wu. Sesung wanted to explain what actually happened, but she chose not to. She didn't want to say because she had her worries about Jong Sub's feelings. She didn't want to show him all of her cards. Sesung asked Jong Sub why he chose Choa to go on a date in Kong Wando and why he didn't choose someone he was curious about. Jong Sub said that he did it. He was curious about both Choa and Ji Won, because they are calm and don't talk much. So he was curious about them. Sesung was shocked after learning this truth. She never expected that Jong Sub was also curious and interested in Choa. Sesung was confused. She asked again, let's say the man will become the Cupid and didn't know about the siblings. To whom would you have given it? Jong Sub answered, I think I would have given it to Jae Hyun or Chul Hyun, because Chul Hyun and Choa seemed like siblings. Sesung was shocked again. She said that she could tell that Jong Sub doesn't have a lot of interest in her. She had to keep asking him out on a date. She thought that to Jong Sub, she was only the option. That thought put her in a bad mood. In episode 11 preview, Sesung and Jong Sub went to a bar. Sesung said that she revealed everything. Jong Sub responded, That's not true. Sesung asked, How about you? Jong Sub answered, I try to conceal things, but it doesn't work. Sesung responded, You tried to conceal things, and it worked. I still don't know about your feelings. Jong Sub said, I also don't know your feelings. In the end, Sesung asked, You want the date to end, right? Jong Sub answered, yes. What will happen to them in upcoming episodes? Will they have change in their heart?